So today we're doing a little checking of the fuel piece charging jacket just to see exactly what it does to charge TXV systems in any weather. And uh, we're looking at this just wondering if it would work or not simply because when you block off a condenser, uh, every time you, you know, every time you raise the head pressure, you also would raise the subcooling because you're changing the design temperature difference. And we got this hooked up to a, uh, a Testo uh, 570. I have a data log in here and some software. And if you take a close look at the software here, you can actually see uh, we're looking at head pressures, the red line, and the uh, orange line there is subcooling. And you can see that every time we raise the head pressure up, the subcooling did spike for a few seconds till the liquid stabilized, but then it came right back down to normal. Now, initially, when we charged this thing, we had it running exactly 10 degrees of subcooling. And right now we're back down to 12 degrees of subcooling. It did raise the subcooling up by about a degree or two. Uh, watching it, it's somewhere between 10 and 11 degrees of subcooling. But I've been cranking this thing up and down, watching the head pressure, and it's actually doing exactly what Field Beast said it would do, which uh, actually surprises me, uh, just because uh, you know, knowing what happens when you block a condenser, I figured this would have a lot of the same characteristics but it actually uh, does exactly like they said it will. So it looks like this is actually a very viable solution to make this uh, work. So that's it for now. Uh, I'm gonna go back to the chart here for a second. And you can see uh, on this thing, you know, we took that head pressure, uh, if you look at my mouse here, all the way up, let me zoom in on that, all the way from about 150, right? And if we come all the way over to here, uh, this is running right now about, oh, well, let's just look at the chart. We'll tell you exactly what it's running. It's running about 276 PSI, right? 276. So we're at about 276 PSI. And, uh, you know, we got quite a bit of pressure drop across the TXV. We'll look at that subcooling line right back down to almost normal. Back to the display just for a second again. Running around 11 degrees. So the darn thing works just like this that it would. That's it. Thanks a lot.